Mungu aliandikiwa barua kuja kuishangilia yanga tumeipenda wenyewe hii ni ya kwetu pwete ya pwete wacha ituwe <tos> Hii ni Yanga TV kipindi kinachokuletea matukio mbalimbali ya klabu ya michezo ya Yanga na wadau wake. Wiki hii katika Yanga TV tutaangazia mchezo wa Yanga Princess dhidi ya Mashujaa Queens. Pia mchezo wa ligi kuu ya NBC dhidi ya Tabora United pamoja na kumbuka Wiki hii katika Yanga TV tutaangazia mchezo wa ligi kuu ya wanawake kati ya Yanga Princess dhidi ya Mashujaa Queens mchezo ambao ulipigwa katika dimba la KMC Complex na kumalizika kwa sare ya bao moja kwa moja huku ukiwa ni mchezo wa tatu mfululizo kwa kikosi cha Yanga Princess kutoa sare kutoa kwetu sare nafikiri tunatarudi tena chini kama coaches tuangalie ni wapi tunapokosea nafikiri kwa sababu tuna miss sana chances nafikiri tutakaa chini ili tuweze kurekebisha hilo. Yaani mechi nafikiri ni ni ni, ni ligi. Sidhani kama ligi na mechi tatu. Eh ni ligi ambayo ndio kwanza raundi ya kwanza. Eh ndio maana nimesema sisi kama coaches tutarudi ubaoni, tutarudi chini, tutarudi uwanjani ili tuangalie ni wapi tunakosea tuweze kurekebisha. Lakini mbio za ubingwa sisi bado kwa sababu ni mechi ya tatu. Eh 
hii ni ligi ingekuwa mtoano tungesema tumetolewa lakini ni ligi ni ligi kuu ya wanawake ambayo inaendelea kucheza sisi naenda kujiandaa na mechi ya ligi sisi hatumuelewi sijui nani sijui nani anakuja mbele kwa hiyo makosa ambayo tumekosea wamekosea leo wachezaji taudi uwanjani tunaenda kuyarekebisha lakini tunajua tuna mechi ya dabi ambayo inachezwa ligi ya wanawake nafikiri tutakaa chini tuangalie ni, ni tunaingia vipi washabiki wa yanga pieces nafikiri timu yao wameiona wameona timu inavyocheza eh lakini upande mwingine si wa kuzungumza sana lakini hizi ni timu ambazo zinagalamiwa zina watu wanaekeza pesa zao lakini kama wandishi ni vitendo vinavyofanywa hapa uwanjani nafikiri hebu tu, tu, tuone aibu tuone aibu eh tuone aibu kwamba watu wanawekeza pesa zao tunamshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa sababu sisi tunakuja kushindana na kutafuta matokeo ila inatokea tunatengeza nafasi lakini ndio hivyo tunashindwa kuzitumia ila na imani walimu wataenda kufanya kazi kwenye viwanja vya mazoezi tutaweza kuyafanyia kazi yale mapungufu ambao anaona tuyafanyie kazi uwanjani ili tuweze kushinda michezo inayofuata ah tumani la ubingwa lipo kwa sababu tuna mechi nyingi hapo mbele yetu na pia bado hatujacheza na na Simba hatujacheza na JKT maki ndio timu ambazo kidogo tunaweza tukatofautiana nafasi sana kwa hiyo tunaenda kujipanga kwa mchezo unaofuata mchezo unaofuata tunacheza na Simba kwa hiyo na imani walimu wataenda kufanyia kazi hilo ili tuweze kupata matokeo choke kutusapoti waje tu tusapoti tutayafanyia kazi yale mapungufu ambao tunaona atuyafanyii atuyatendei haki uwanjani na tunaamini tuna kwa michezo ambayo inafuata tutapata matokeo wa, waje kwa wingi wasikate tamaa huu ni mpira Katika ligi kuu ya NBC Yanga Sports Club walipoteza mchezo wake wa nyumbani dhidi ya Tabora United kwa mabao matatu kwa moja huku wakali hao wa jangwani na mabingwa wa kihistoria wakishuka mpaka nafasi ya pili wananchi wanasema haijaisha mpaka iishe huku wakiamini watarejea katika makali yao Maxin Sengeli Kibabage kwa Prince Dube Zisa! Wanaweza kukosa la matatu lakini si goli katika mchezo huu. Hatimaye Clement Mzise anasema Tabora United ya mwezi kuondoka katika uwanja huu. Bila wananchi kushuhudia goli. Cross nzuri ya Clement Nixon Kibabage. Ikakutana na umaliziaji mzuri wa Clement Francis Msise. Nothing go well today for us. We must be honest. Uh, you see in uh, almost uh, I think 8 minutes uh, coming injury under. We don't have central defender in the bench, nothing. Uh, Musonda miss one clear chance. Huh? And after they attack one, they score one goal. We have a penalty, we miss in penalty. In second half, they are attacking twice, they score two goals. We are attacking 20, we didn't score. You see, it's football law, but uh, nothing, like I say, nothing uh, today is, is worse for us. The performance for the team was, was, wasn't good, but I think was was influenced for the, the situation as well. But here, there are a responsible, you know how is the football. When the team winning, everybody is happy. And when the team lose, I, 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 I get the responsibility. I'm the coach. I'm, I'm, I'm not blame because we, we play with, without all the defenders. Everything is football. The other team make his day business. We, we didn't do well. We must upset and we must be strong. Uh, me, I the first concern because the other day when we lost Asan, I think we didn't deserve a loss. But it's football. But now uh, we can say nothing. They, they was realistic. And we, we are not realistic. This is what I can do. This is, this is I don't have one explanation uh, true. Probably the tiredness as well. We play six games in 20 days, traveling, everything. But uh, it's football. We need to play. We lose and accept and, and be strong. I, I know that uh, today we're handing up here. There's a FIFA break. Uh, I don't know. You're having a program uh, in a drawing board. Is it going to be enough for you? Uh, When, before you're coming back uh, for the next game, uh, next round? No, we have a problem. Always we discuss when you're coaching younger, it's difficult because every FIFA break, 12 players, 12, 11, 13, they go. We cannot train. We're training with the, the, the first 11, three, four players sometimes. 
uh, is very, very difficult. And these players, when they go for FIFA break, they come in out of focus, you know, they travel in to, to countries, they come in out of focus. Uh, it's difficult, it's very difficult, but uh, always he casually discuss with the president this issue today. But this is the risk when you coach a, a, coach a, a team like that. We don't have time. Uh, the, last, the last months we cannot train, we play and recover. But this is the rule, we need to accept. Uh, I repeat, uh, I'm the responsible, I, I get all the responsibility for this loss. Mara baada ya kupoteza mchezo dhidi ya Tabora United, mashabiki wa Yanga Sports Club nao wametoa maoni mara baada ya kupoteza michezo miwili mfululizo katika ligi kuu ya NBC. Uh, of course kufungwa kuna uma na kitu ambacho hatukukitarajia kwa matokeo ambayo walikuwa tuna tunatarajia lakini mpira wa miguu na mchezo wa kikatili, I mean unaona maamuzi sangine ya kikatili. Kuna sare, kuna kufungwa na kushinda. Kwa hiyo kwetu sisi au binafsi mimi na yachukulia ni, ni, ni changamoto tu katika mpira ambapo imetokea timu yetu iko vizuri na niwapongeze sana sana wanachama na wapenzi wenzangu jana kitendo alichokionyesha uwanjani pale baada ya mpira kuisha kuwapigia makofi wachezaji ni kuwapa moyo motisha kwamba sisi tuko nao yaliyotokea ni mambo ya mpira lakini uh, na benchi la ufundi vile vile jana kocha Gamondi kaongea maneno ya maana sana na maneno ya kikubwa sana. Na waandishi wetu wengine wanakuwa na maswali ambayo kidogo yanaleta mauzi kwa kwa kocha lakini ameongea kikubwa. Wachezaji wamechoka katika siku ishina moja watu wamecheza mechi sita. Lazima ni binadamu, binadamu lakini vile vile TFF na bodi ya ligi inabidi waangalie sana kwa sababu wachezaji wanakuwa hawachoki, hawapumziki, wanatoka mechi moja na kwenda mechi nyingine unakuta wachezaji wetu mechi zinafatana naona bana. Kwa hiyo lazima waangalie sana wapewe hao wachezaji wapewe muda wa kupumzika naona. Gepe ya mechi iwe hata siku nne hivi itawasaidia wachezaji kutokana na ile fatigue. Lakini otherwise tunakubali matokeo binafsi nasema timu ilijitahidi na imeonekana kabisa dakika ya nane, andabu ile kapata majeruhi. Kwa hiyo na kocha alikuwa hana mtu mwingine wa kumweka lakini ye ni binadamu inatokea. No, na amefungwa Real Madrid juzi nne, Manchester City kafungwa, Arsenal kafungwa, Sembusa Yanga bana. Mimi nadhani kufungwa kupo na mechi ligi bado, ligi bado haijaisha, tutakwenda mbele, mimi naamini tutarudi, tutarudi na nguvu moja, daima mbele nyuma mwiko. Yanga tusikate tamaa, wapenzi na wanachama wenzangu, tukubaliane yaliyotokea yametokea. Swala la uwanja, mimi sidhani upande wangu mimi, uh, kwangu mimi hainingi kichwani kusema kwa nini tumefungwa timu kuna matatizo. Hapana. Tukifungwa tufurai wote, tukishinda tufurai wote, tumpe e, nani e, moyo kocha na wachezaji ili tuweze kwenda mbele. Tuna mechi nyingi zinatukabili, mimi bado naamini tutarudi na ubingwa tuachukua, Mungu atasimama na sisi. Uh, Kinachoumiza zaidi ni kwamba mara ya pili mfululizo tunapoteza tukiwa nyumbani. Kitu ambacho kwa timu ambayo ina kaliba ya ubingwa haitakii kufanya hivyo. Haitakii kupoteza kwa mfululizo na pia haitakii kupoteza kwa timu ambayo imeizidi kila kitu hata ukiangalia jana ball possession ukiangalia shiko na ukiangalia shoot on target ukiangalia shoot of target kila kitu tumewazidi lakini mwisho siku wenzetu wamepata shoot on target nne wametumia tatu sisi tumepata shoot on target karibu sita lakini tumetumia moja kwa hiyo kimsingi inaumiza kidogo lakini ukishabikia football lazima kuna kipindi itakukuta hali kama hii e, hali ya majonzi e, tunatakiwa sasa hivi wana yanga wote tuungane tuko kitu kimoja Eh, tusiwaache wachezaji wetu na viongozi wetu peke yao kama tunavyosema we win together and we lose together tunashinda kwa pamoja tunafurahi na tukipoteza basi tuwe pamoja vile vile bado mechi nyingi sana ndio kwanza mechi ya kumi kuna mechi karibu sijui 20 kwa hiyo nafikiri bado tutafanya vizuri na wasa tu wanayanga tu kitu kimoja tutafanya vizuri ah ushindani ni mkubwa kwa hizi mechi kumi peke yake unaona ushindani mkubwa kwa sababu hata wale ambao tukuwategemea kufanya vizuri wamefanya vizuri. Umeona eh? Kafano kama Tabora, tutegemea kama Tabora anaweza kumfunga Yanga goal tatu. Okay, kumfunga inawezekana lakini goal tatu. Ah, kwa hiyo ushindani mkubwa na wamejipanga. Sasa hivi watu wamejipanga sana. Novemba msimu wa 2023-24, mabingwa wa kihistoria Yanga Sports Club waliibuka na ushindi mnono dhidi ya mtani wake Simba Sports Club katika ligi kuu ya NBC. 
tujikumbushe magoli ya Yanga Sports Club katika ushindi huo wa bao tano. Mambo yote yako vizuri kwa kumzuzwa. Zuzwa kwa kum. Apita pembeni kule kwa kumzuzwa. Aweka mpira mwingine tena mbele yake zaidi aweka mpira katika nafasi kile Musonda nakataliwa. Bado shida iko pale pale ataula yao. Pass na mina cross tadi. It's Kenneth Musonda. Taburere la. Wananchi young Africans. Yao kwa sataula. Akasogea mbele akapiga cross ile. Inakuwa assist yake ya tano. Kenneth Musonda anaandika bao safi kabisa. Yanga moja Simba sufu ya yule. Yao kwa sataula. Anaenda kukoa cross ile jeshi. Oh oh oh. Eh Kenneth Musonda anajibu kwa kuipokea fresh sana free header. Saido ni bazaki za moja za tare kwa kiptani. Pale pale penye mshono. Kiptani si prosper na kwenda kufunga midomo mashabiki wa Young Africans. Derby day. Mechi ni ngumu hii. Free header. Kiptani si anaicheza katika net. Free header ya Kiptani. Anakwenda anaicheza kwenye mwamba wa pili. Katika nafasi ambayo walinzi wa Yanga walimtazama kama sana mlakari yako kama sana mla posta mchezaji ambaye anakwenda juu na kutandika heda mpaka kwenye dakika hizi 45 za kipindi cha kwanza Aishi Salum Manula tayari ameshaokota kunyavu kwa kipindi cha pili tayari kimeshaanza Idabi ya Kariako Simba dhidi ya Yanga moja moja mpaka sasa ile kuondoka tena Yanga Stefano Aziziki Aziziki Stefano na mpira ule kabilisha mali katika nafasi Maxim Pian Sengali Pale pale Ni wananchi yanga Maxim Pianzengeli Bunge moja La mchezaji Master Magician Pasi ama yemepita Na Maxi hafuwa na kingine chakufanya Kamtazama Aishi Haka pele kampira katika eneo jingine Ambao Aisha na mburi ya tope Nendela kusugia tena na mpira ole Zuzwa Zuzwa pakom Nolo pasi katika nafasi nzuri Maxi ya kataliwa Unaondosho ana Mohamed Hussein Zimwe. Aendelea kumuonesha kocha wa Ever Coast pa kuzuzwa. Leka mpira katika nafasi nziza Clement. Clement mziza leka mali katika njia. Stefan Aziziki! Tumbadi! Anawambia sisi siwa milima. Tumekutana tena hapa. Tumekutana tena hapa katika orodha ya wachezaji mabao alikimbia pako mzuzwa kutoka Ivory Coast akamwekea kijana kutoka Tanzania Clement Mziza katika nafasi mtu badi Stefan Aziziki mwamba wa wagaduku akaandika msumali wa tatu kwa Young Africans mambo mazuri kwa Yanga utasifa ambao chakajifanya pako mzuzwa mchezaji ambaye alilazimisha kutoka pembeni ikatekwa kwa Clement Mzize kutoka pako mzuzwa Clement Mzize Mzize Clement, nacheza na Stefan Aziziki Hametuwa mali katika njia Clement Mzize Mzize Clement Na inga dani katika nafasi Maxi Acha hiyo Acha hiyo Usiji zime data Na wala hawoti Isi ondoto Uni ukweli mtuku Mbape kutoka Kindu Jemu hiri ya kideme kukasea ya Kongo Alimweka chini kutawe ya Riko Bado wakatengewa tena na Stefano Aziziki. Alimposa na kukukota Mohamed Hussein. Anatapi ni mpira. Mbape wa Kongo. Bao la nne kwa Yanga. Bao la saba kwa Max. Lakini bao la pili kwa Max kwenye mchezo huu. Clement Mzize. Assisti nyingine. Anaitengeneza kwenye mchezo huu. Clement Mzize. Katika moja na mbili anacheza na Stefano Aziziki. Mali katika nafasi kwa Kong. Kwa Kong Zuzwa. Na upaisha juu. Eh. Alisali matoyo kunje. Stefan Aziski Mali katika nafasi ile Heno Kinonga baka Varane Na mamuzi Ahmed Arajiga Afunika mkwanyo Perat Ni mazabe mefanyika ndani Inampa nafasi Maxim Pia Zengeli 
ارجع نفاسي بكون القصاص حقا كلا جوت اللي تبغوا كلا قصاص كتاليبوا Naam, hii ndio Yanga, timu ya wananchi. Mwekezaji ni mwananchi mwenyewe. I love you Yanga.